Alright guys, welcome to, uh, I guess I'm gonna call this a This Is Future Tactics The Uprising. So let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna just uh, start the story mode. Uh, we'll start a new game and I'll just show you uh, the general character, I guess, and playset here. So this game was, uh, we'll, ska we'll skip uh, story because nobody cares. Um, well, I guess some people might, but this was made by a game company called Z2. It was released in 2004, and it came out on basically all the consoles. So the basic rundown of how this game works is you select your character, it's turn-based, so we'll pick him just for example. So you get options there. You can, uh, oh. So basically right now the enemy has seen me and he's telling them. So I can end my move, but basically I have shoot, move, and then turn. So we're going to move just to get a better shot here. And see when I move, there's this blue circle that appears. It's basically, I can move again, but I can only move inside the blue circle after this. Uh, right now I can move inside the green circle. So we're going to end move, we'll shoot. So right now, uh, basically how this game makes it somewhat challenging to aim is it's basically like you're drunk so right now I barely move the thumbstick and it'll just wildly move out of control like I just flicked it to the right a little and it just does whatever it wants so you do have to fight but if you zoom in with this character since he's fully upgraded you can just zoom right in on this guy's face maybe like so and right now how you shoot is you have to line up these two lines in the center so I'll try to get it as close as I can like so so, and right there in the corner it said boost power, so some characters have the option to uh, increase their power when shooting. And right now I left a huge crater in the ground, there is uh, basically destructible environments to it in a sense. So I can end my turn and it leaves me with rest, shield, or health. Uh, right now I'm going to rest, it's the first level, and then I don't care. Shield is you go into a bubble shield and heal, obviously, and you heal. So this is another character called Lo. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just move. I'll show you the upgrade system. There's an upgrade over there to the to the right there. That spinning box that is white. So we're gonna to try to make our way over there. So we'll take out this guy here. Again, it's like being drunk. You do have to be very finicky with the uh, thumbstick. Like bar I'm barely tapping it. Every time it slightly moves direction, is a slight tap in that direction. But. As you can see, it, it moves wildly out of control. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. See it? Whoop. I got him. These are easy enemies. So, basically, this company folded after this game. Uh, they did produce a couple other games. An E.T. game, and I don't really know what else they produced. And it received an average 6.75 out of 10. So right now the character is... Uh, are, are moving, it's the enemy's turn. Obviously turn-based strategy, you know, you get the idea. Uh, the music in this game is one that I actually really enjoy. As you can hear now in the background, that riff of the guitar, pretty badass. Um, there is different classes, uh, other than these two characters, there's several others. There is a gunner, a rocket that shoots like a javelin type thing, so you can choose which area on the map you want to land. Uh, grenader, and there's a few others, and as you can see, there's different enemy types. Uh, this is somewhat boss character. It's on the first level. It's just introducing you. Um, there is several others, like you've seen the the grenader, or the uh, I guess self destruct type enemy. So I'm gonna just try to get to the upgrade just to show you how that system works. And uh, yeah. So right now the objective of this is to get to that bridge. And I can't shoot anybody. I don't think I have a clean sight, so no. So we'll just rest. Yeah, I just basically wanted to show off uh, this game and what it's all about. Um, it is 10 years old. It came out in 2004. So, you know, it's a little old. But it is one of my uh, favorite games from my youth. Uh, it's very challenging, but very rewarding. Um, it's a great game. If you can find it, it's cheap, it's worth picking up. You can play it on your 360, that's what I'm doing now. It's an Xbox port. Or if you're like me and have a 60 gig PS3, you can play it on PS2. Or just have PS2 kicking around. You know, that's helpful too. 
So I'll show the leveling system and then I will end the video because I guess this is a this is and well I basically explained what this game is and you've seen how the gameplay works. It's a lot more uh, complex than you'd think. It gets very challenging later on um, leading to some pretty uh, struggling times that I had in my youth. But we'll see. I'll get this upgrade. And yeah, enemies do spawn in ridiculous spots, like as you just seen. We'll just try to get this character just so I can uh Am I going the right way? I don't think so. Oh god. Ah, there it is. So I don't think I can reach this spot as of yet, so we'll just nope. So we'll just take out some enemies. Again. Drunk person shooting, you gotta kinda fight with your aim. Whoa. Whoa. And there is, uh, I guess, effects if you shoot somebody in the head, you'll get bonus. If you hit them in a weak spot, you'll get a bonus. Standard strategy game stuff. And since Father is fully upgraded as a character, uh, he has lots at his disposal. Like, he can shoot two shots instead of low as one shot. So I can shoot this guy. And that big red zero that popped up is I tried to get a power boost by tapping A after I shot. Oh, that's way off. Let's see if I can hit him. Look at that. So you can kind of aim your shot uh, based on those crosshairs. So we'll end this turn again. As I said, I'd recommend this game. Um, it's a good classic old game. Uh, the graphics, I guess you can decide for yourself. I think they hold up, but the level destruction and stuff, I'm sure kids nowadays would think it is ridiculous. Given that, uh, you know, we're on the next gen. I guess current gen would be Xbox One and PS4. It's not next gen anymore. It is current gen. Which makes me feel a little old. Alright, upgrade. So as you can see here, Father is fully upgraded with the power level, shot, sight, two times shot, shields, and you can upgrade to instant healing. But there's no point, I won't give spoilers, but he's fully upgraded. I'm sure you'll know that he's not going to kick around for a long time. So right now I'm going to just double this. Upgrade, yes. So that's the upgrade system. It's basically you just find stuff in the environment. And there's the end of the level, that red circle. So basically you gotta get both the guys to the red circle, and the, okay, I guess the game mode is complete. So I guess that's it. This is uh, Future Tactics. Came out 10 years ago, and I just did a video. Keeping relevant. Awesome guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.